guys, John here with Survival Dispatch, and I'm always joined by my favorite person in the world. That's right, it is me. So I am his favorite person. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about mathematics in expiration dates. Yeah, um, this is the thing I think befuddles a lot of folks. Yeah, so. and, and it's one of those things where you know we get a lot of questions on food pantries, yeah. how to stock them, how long, uh, what to carry, and um, you know I live under the belief that most people, most, depending on family size, things like that, should be able to live out of their pantry for months. Yeah, I never, agree Never, Never touch your long-term food supply. Yeah. Live out of your pantry for months. Yeah. And your pantry should also be stocked with food that you common, normally eat. Yeah, the stuff your family enjoys, the things you eat on a normal, daily basis. Yeah. You know, that, you know, no, no unfamiliar things, no yeah. craziness, no, it's, you know, we're not eating soaked pinto beans tonight for dinner. Right. You know. So, you know, we're talking things like cereal, Pop-Tarts, pasta, yeah. veggies, soup, peanut butter, jelly, things like that. And they all have expiration dates on them. Yep. And what, what this video is all about is working on the mathematics of expiration dates. Yeah. Um, because, you know, a lot of people, they, they, they struggle with rotating their food. But it's also one of those things where when you start to really look into it, you can calculate how much of a particular product you can store and it'll never, technically it'll never go bad as long as you're yep. constantly eating it. Yep. So uh, you take my family, you know, I got a little one at home. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I also like cereal. So, you know. We, we all know who those are for. You know, they're magically delicious. Um, <laughs> so, you know, this has got an expiration date on it of November, 2019. So yep. usually cereal, I'm gonna say a year and that's just, that's the yeah, best buy. Yeah, this, spot. Is, this That's I think is, is saying like t December 3rd, 2019, yeah. it's looking like. This is a jar of peanut butter. Yep. This will last. A long, long time. Like dinosaurs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, as long as this thing ain't open, it's going to last. But, but, but it's one of those things where if you're going to live based on the expiration yes. date, here's how you start to plan. Yeah. Um, what I do is, is you take a Sharpie and you put it in your pantry, okay? And then right when you open the box, so, you know, if it's... March 3rd, you put yep. March 3rd on there. And, and time how long it takes you to go through one box of cereal. Yep. Um, or if it's multiple boxes. Hey, I got four kids at home, and we go through yep. eight boxes of well, cereal. That's, yeah, that's like month. us at my house. We'll probably have three or four different kinds open at a time. Yeah. So, so but it's one of those things where what you do is, is you can then calculate mathematically how many boxes you actually go through in a year. Yeah, how long it takes you to consume a box. All yep. right, so now if you know if it takes you, you know, Sometimes in my house it can be two days, <laughs> depending yeah. on the cereal, depending on whatever he's doing. Sometimes it can be a week or right. ten days, you know. But once you know that, all right, we consume a box week. of magically delicious breakfastness once a week. Once a week. Yep. So you, now you can know that. Well, if I want to eat this every day for breakfast for a year, I need fifty-two boxes of this. Yep. Real simple. And that's not that hard to do. We in a previous video we've done, we talked about how to build this up as far as like bogos, couponing, that kind of thing. There's no reason you couldn't have 10, 15, 20 of these sitting on a shelf. Yeah. And think about that. That's 10, 15, or 20 weeks worth of breakfast. And all you do is rotate. You That's take it. from the front yep. and you stick them in the back when you get new ones. Just push everything forward. Yeah. Rotate it. Everything will be in date and fresh. You'll never have to worry about it. And it's a good way to build your pantry. Now, yep. this isn't your survival food. Nope. This is just your pantry that, especially you folks up north and out west, you guys probably a lot of them do this anyway. You know, you might get snowed in for three days. You want to make sure you've got groceries to be able to eat, or a week even. So, simple way to do it. Yeah. But that's the math of how it works. Yeah, so. and, and it's super simple, and you can do it with pretty much any food. <clears throat> if you guys have pasta once a week and it's a box, uh, we have we have spaghetti. Yeah. Pretty much one night every single week. Uh, it's easy, you know, with the wife and I working, it's easy. You can throw it in the pot, it's done. So, once again, one a week, you know, we could have 52 boxes, mm -hmm. and we know it's not going to expire because it lasts longer than a year. Yep. Um, so that's really the, the mathematics, but you can take it and you can translate it to, to any, anything, anything in your you pantry. Use. Yes, anything you, know? you use. Um, and, and we say pantry because refrigerator yeah. is different. Okay. Yeah, we're not. Because, we're talking. Yeah, we're talking shelf stable goods here. Yeah. So. So um, so you know, really start to to look into what your your the picture of your pantry looks like, yeah. and how your family consumes what's in there. Because a lot of people would say, "Oh, my pantry's full." Man, that's four months of food. Yeah. And you got three or four kids, you know, husband, yeah. things like that, wife, and before you know it, it's really only a month or two of action. Or it could be three weeks. Yeah. Know. Yeah. You so, never, I mean, everybody overestimates their food source. Yeah. And everybody looks and says, oh, I've got a year. I've got a year. I'm good for a yeah. year. 
Till you start doing the math and find out that you're really not good for a year. So, you know, I challenge you guys to, uh, you know, start looking into your pantry, start figuring out exactly uh, what you have and how long it'll last you. And I would say a goal being to try to get to at least three months. Yeah, another so, thing that, that my wife does is, is she writes the date stuff comes home on it a lot. Yeah. And then the date it's open, so there'll be two dates on them. So they also lets us know how long stuff's sitting around. Mm -hmm. Like, that we're, do we actually really use this or right. not? Um, that's another thing you can do. If you have things in your pantry, like if you were to go in your pantry today and date everything, that's the date that you know, all right, all right this is a, my known date. And six months later, you reach out there and take that can down, and you look, and this thing's been sitting here for six months, so we don't really use it that much. Mm -hmm. just, a, just a little more knowledge in your food preparation, so, of what you're actually eating. So, yeah, so, you know, guys, take a look <clears throat> in your pantry, see what you got, uh, and then start to plan on how to actually grow the things, the, grow the number and the quantity uh, of things that you eat on a normal basis, you know, for your family and, uh, you know, start there and then start working more on longer term. Yeah, because this is the, you know, your pantry should be your, the, the first layer of your stomach insurance. Yeah. You know, we insure everything else, you know, cars, houses, health, everything. That's an Alan Kay term, though, stomach insurance. And that's what this is, you know. So it's a real simple way to do it, too. And it doesn't cost a lot of money to get this rolling. Yeah. So take a look in your pantry. If you got any other questions with regards to, you know, pantry stable foods, things like that, feel free to leave them below. Make sure you like this video. And until next time, be safe. And re quick reminder, if you guys are enjoying these videos, check out Survival Dispatch. I mean, 14-day free trial is $10 a month. You probably have that much change between the seats of your car right yeah. now. So if you're interested in the Survival Dispatch Insider, click the link below. Have a great one, guys.